this video shows how to export the conformal channel with this mode 1 to open form solver by making different patches inlet outlet and wall firstly we will create the channel this is a star shaped profile which have dimension in cross section 50 mm radius in outside and 25 mm radius in inside with a depth of 50 mm these are the channel properties that will contribute the or will generate the conformal channel within this mode 1 type so i'm going to select the star object and create the channel so the channel is got created there are some sharp bends are there that we have to avoid in order to get a good mesh so I am selecting the conformal channel, this, this curve like object shows it is a curve object in blender so we can edit it. We can remove the vertexes that are contributing to the sharp bends so that the bend sharp corners are avoided and we are getting a smooth bends. So if we are avoiding the sharp corners, the output mesh, 3D mesh will be a good one, which will be used to isolate different patches that is required for open form in order to assign some boundary conditions. So we have avoided the sharp ends. Now we can convert a little more here. Now we can convert this curve object to mesh object by going to this object menu then convert to mesh. We are not retaining just convert to mesh. Now this is a mesh object like a 3D dot obj or dot stl like object is that it has facet uh, vertex edges so i am going to retain only the conformal channel and going to delete the remaining on the object so in this conformal channel the next problem is by pressing the tab key tab key we can go to the edit mode you can see the faces are long but narrow so the selection of these faces for inlet and outlet will be difficult and also we have to make this more much more uniform for to achieve that i'm going to this panel icon and clicking on this remesh menu by selecting this conformal channel so what it does is it will remesh the object more or less equally and also create some additional faces over inlet and outlet faces right now it is of tree number four let's make it to eight seven eight now click on apply and if we go to the edit mode and if we click on this this is for selecting vertex this is for edges and this icon is for faces so if we go to the faces and you can see the faces this structure the conformal channel got remeshed and it is remeshed with quad faces so we can easily select these faces but the problem is <coughs> in order to convert to open form uh, in order to make this as input to open form we have to make it to triangular faces for that we have to do click on the key button a it will select all the faces then go to this face menu and from this face menu select triangulate faces so now all the faces go triangulated next we can select individual face individual groups by going to this selection menu select circle and make the value to 12 in order to get a proper control over boundary 
so I'm going to select the inlet face by pressing on the shift and dragging the shift pressing on the shift key will retain the previous selection if you discount if the if our selection would discontinue otherwise we have to start it again that's why I'm pressing the shift key so a continuous selection we will get if there is an interruption and if we are selecting any extra faces we can remove it by pressing the control key and dragging on those faces now the inlet is perfectly selected by pressing on the key P let's say press the key P so the selection of group by uh, creation of group by selection the so the I'm clicking on this selection button so a new object is created from this main object so I'm name renaming this inlet this will be our inlet patch in small letter inlet and the inlet is ready and the next thing is I'm going to select the outlet so I'm going to select the output oh sorry outlet by pressing the shift key and selecting on the region properly selecting on the region that I need so I'm selecting the outlet region and selecting the selection completes Cl clicking on the button P so it create a object by selection and the new object will be our outlet so I'm renaming it as outlet okay so we have selected inlet and outlet the next thing is to rename the remaining region as wall so we have created inlet outlet and wall and I have created a Python script that will transfer these patches data into a single object called channel.obj which is placed in the run folder under the the project name mode one demo and in the constant folder in open form it will have three folders zero constant and system I will explain it that later so it is this geometry object will be placed under tri surface folder the tri surface will be placed under constant so I am I have given the file path and to this file path this channel.obj file will get created how it is creating it is extracting the data the inlet data wall and outlet data and it is in this section no we don't need this object and in this we don't need this count in within this section it will create a data sorry it will write a obj file based on the vertex group and for uh, based on the vertex groups of each patches firstly it will write on inlet then its vertex data the g stands for group in obj which will identify it as a separate group so after first writing the vertex data it, this point not not one makes that it is converting to millimeter uh, sorry in converting to meter in blender it is millimeter while open form is dealing with the meter unit so i'm con uh, this vertex data is got converted to meters with that line then after writing the vertex data just writing the group with the main object main file object name space the inlet if it is for wall then it will be g space channel space wall if it is for outlet g space channel space outlet firstly the vertex data then the group name then the face data in that manner we will write an obj file that will be accepted by the snappy hex mesh in the open form in order to create the the finite volume to perform multi-phase simulation in open form so if I click on this Python script and run if I click on this run script it will create a obj file within this tri surface which is placed in the constant folder which is placed in the 
project folder under the run run folder of open form so if i click on this run script sorry count count is needed i accidentally delete that so if i click on this run script it will create a channel dot obj in the try surface folder so the channel for channel dot obj has created with inlet data wall data and outlet data if i search the group It has not imported fully. Once it imports, we can search the data. G, G space. So G is the uh, face name, then the file name. So control F. Wall, inlet, outlet. So it is okay. The OBJ is fine i mentioned here is the how it is writing here it will be the face name then the main file name i mentioned it as main uh, main file object name and the face name it is not uh, in that manner first it will comes as the face name then the main file name okay this is for mode one in this section i will show the generation of conformal channel mode two type over this star shaped object and these are the channel parameters i'm clicking on create channel it will create a mode two type conformal channel next go to this scene collection rename the conformal channel as wall object and delete the remaining two objects and also make a copy of this wall object in case if anything goes wrong in the upcoming operations we can make this as a reference or a backup so i'm hiding the copy object then i will or enter operation will be performed on this wall object next i will import a cube object with dimension 100 mm and i will move the object in the negative x axis with 155 distance and i will perform the boolean operation on this wall object by making a difference with this cube then go to this add modifier select the boolean and difference from this cube no the from the wall we have to make the subtraction of this cube object click on apply and delete this uh, you can see that the boolean has performed so we can delete this cube also after performing the boolean operation the next thing is we have to look into the mesh this is for the vertex this is for edge and this is for face clicking on the face we can see the the meshing of the geometry so i'm going to make it uniformly mesh making it the geometry uniformly remeshed then for that i'm going to coming out of the edit mode by pressing the tab key and then go to the remesh by select while selecting the wall object and i'm going to change the octree value to 8 so we will get a fine mesh representation of the wall object click on apply don't forget to click on this apply button otherwise the performance otherwise the operation will not be performed on the geometry i'm clicking on apply then again if we go to the edit mode if and if we check the inlet and outlet phase we can see a lot of chord faces is filled with filled over the inlet and outlet region and on the wall region every phase is now is 
a code phrase then by clicking on the button a we are selecting every faces then go to the face under this face click on triangulate faces now all the faces got triangulated these data we can then export to obj format we can write this uh, vertex uh, we can write this mesh data in obj format as triangular facets next thing is we have to select this inlet for that clicking on this selection icon and from this select circle change the radius to 12 so that we will get a smaller circular selection region with that we will select the boundary by clicking shift key we will drag over these phases in order to isolate the inlet region we have to fully select all the faces within this region first i am selecting the boundary first i am selecting the boundary region then i will select the inside region so i am selecting the boundary after selecting the boundary i am selecting the inside region now I am selecting the inside region once it complete I will isolate this face as inlet right now it is a part of wall object after completion selection completion I will press the P key right now there is no any extra phases selected if any extra phases selected other than this inlet region just drag over those faces with by pressing the control key instead of shift just uh, press the control key and drag over those faces it will get unselected now i'm going to press the p key and from selection we are making a separate a separate object wall zero zero one i'm going to rename it as inlet so a new uh, face we have created that is inlet make sure the naming is correct and uh, next thing is i will isolate the outlet object in the same way as we have seen in the inlet phase i'm selecting by pressing the shift key i'm selecting all the boundaries over the outlet phase then i will isolate this phase from the wall object so we will have after this selection there will be three object inlet outlet and wall and these three object will be written in a single obj file which is named as channel.obj so I'm, right now i'm selecting all the phases and after selecting i'm just Run, running over these boundaries to ensure is there any additional phases I have selected now it is ok good to go so I am clicking on the key P and from selection one more object created renaming, renaming it as outlet outlet and if I hide this object you can see the wall if I am hiding inlet and outlet you can see the remaining region as wall object okay so coming out of the edit mode the next step is to convert this mesh object into obj format so i have a python script and this python script will write the obj format under this folder what it uh, will do what it will do is it will extract the data from inlet outlet and wall and it will write into obj format so here it is collecting the data and in these lines first it will write the vertex data it will convert that data before writing the vertex data it will convert every 
vertex data which is in mm millimeter it is then converted to meter in open form the unit used for calculation is meter while in blender i am using millimeter so i'm right now i am here converting to millimeter uh, sorry from millimeter to meter i'm converting that's why i'm multiplying vertex data with 0 0.001 after converting i'm writing the vertex data then there is a another line g stands for group then this percentage s sign is the writing of this inlet outlet wall name so g space inlet space channel then the uh, remaining region will be the face data of inlet region similarly the loop will continue for outlet and wall so i'm going to press the run script button then it will store this is the file path this for this channel dot obj you have to mention end file path including including the name of the uh, file object so if i click on the run script it will create a obj file within that specified folder the proce the procedure is similar to mode 3 that i'll show in this section i'll demonstrate the conformal channel mode 3 type generation over this tar shape profile clicking on the create channel these are the input parameters so the channel is generated now i am deleting the remaining two objects renaming it as wall and making a copy of this object for reference wall copy okay and hiding this the hiding the backup object the next thing is to make a boolean operation over this wall object i'm making a cube with size 100 and moving it to minus 155 yes yeah it's okay then go to the modifier by selecting the wall object you have to select the wall object go to the boolean you have to hide this and from this boolean i will select the cube and i will apply the boolean operation if i hide the cube you can see the sharp edges delete the cube after that then go to the wall then object then go to modifier remesh the object with value 8 then click on apply then go to the edit mode click on the face selection icon then go to the face before going to that select all object by pressing the button a all faces by pressing the button a then from this face menu triangulate select the triangulate faces it will convert the quad faces into triangulate faces then then we have to select the inlet by selecting the circle changing the diameter to let's say 15 then selection we have to perform by pressing the shift key selecting the boundary region first you can select any region first but i am selecting the boundary initially carefully i am selecting the boundary in order to avoid any extra operation so i am selecting the inlet region is selecting the outer boundary of this inlet region okay then after selecting the inside region then selecting sorry after selecting the boundary region we have to select the remaining inside region so after selection selecting all the faces 
make sure that no other faces got selected then by pressing the key p from selection we are creating the object renaming it as inlet so inlet region is generated this is one this is inlet similarly we have to isolate outlet so selecting the outlet region by pressing the shift key selecting the boundary selecting the boundary and selecting selecting okay then selecting the inside region and yeah just to ensure that no other face got selected yeah okay fine then pressing the key p from selection we are creating the outlet renaming it as outlet okay so we have created the three faces if i hide the inlet and outlet you can see the wall object next uh, coming out of the edit mode it's not necessary to whether to coming out or within the edit mode while converting to opj this is the python script and in this python script instead of mode 2 i change to mode 3 and the remaining path is the same i have already created a project folder named mode 3 mode 1 mode 2 in the run folder of open form so you have to specify the path that you have already created the channel dot obj is the file name you can name it in your case you can name it any name but make sure that it should be it should be accounted in the open form boundary boundary regions or boundary patches so better not to change the uh, file name in this example just name it as channel.obj because the internet will be in open form will be named as channel underscore inlet the wall will be channel underscore wall and outlet will be channel underscore outlet so it is better to not to change once you understand how this working how these operations are working you can name it whatever the name you want based on that you have to make changes in the open form files so now i am going to uh, run this python script first the vertex data then the group data after that the face data will be written for each group inlet and out inlet outlet and wall and if i go to this path mode 3 demo constant try surface there is no file right now and if i click on this python script if i click on run script it will generate the channel.obj if i go to again this try surface folder you can see the channel.obj which is around 16 mb data so this is the input so sorry this is the uh, exporting of geometry from blender to open form okay the geometry preparation is section is over next will be the open form within the open form how the parameters we have to define that will be explained in the open form section